tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, it's not the nicest looking nights out across the tri-state tonight, so hopefully you're close to home and warm already because it's a chilly one outside. Temperatures have been hovering in the mid-30s. As promised, they wouldn't budge much overnight tonight, and that's basically what we're seeing. 36 now at the airport. We've got an easterly wind out there at around 8. Most areas are safely above freezing, and before you go to bed tonight, you don't have to worry about refreeze in terms of any rain that's fallen across the area because temperatures will stay at or above freezing across the area through the night tonight. The only exceptions over here in Wilmington and Hillsboro, it's been a little bit slower to warm up there, but they're still hovering around freezing. But even there, I don't expect any problems. Everyone else, as you can see, now into the mid 30s, and that will be where we will stay through the remainder of the night and into tomorrow morning. So let's talk headlines around here. As we look out in terms of the forecast for tonight, steady temperatures, and we'll keep some on and off light showers. Again, don't expect anything heavy overnight. Really don't even expect anything heavy tomorrow morning when you wake up. It looks like the heavy rain. Rains won't get in here until really after dark tomorrow. And a good soaking, I do mean, is coming to the area. Probably a solid one to two inches of rain across a good part of the WLWT viewing area tomorrow night through Saturday morning. Now, while widespread flooding is not a problem at all, I do think some poor drainage areas could have a few issues late tomorrow night, specifically with some of those heavier rainfall rates as they move in. Again, that will be tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. And then right now, in terms of your football forecast for Sunday, we are looking pretty good. I don't see any major problems out there. Drier but gloomy, though. Really typical fall weather is what I would expect for the Bengals and Steelers game on Sunday. As a matter of fact, here's the official forecast right here. A gloomy start if you're out tailgating. It will be chilly in the morning and the 30s on Sunday morning and will slowly climb into the low 40s. So you'll certainly want to have that warm Bengals gear handy with sun beginning to make an appearance as the day. Uh, moves on. So let's talk about Power of Five Live radar tonight. Just a few spotty showers across the area. That's really it. Here's a live look. Most of the shower activity down here around Maysville over towards West Union. Again, other than a few sprinkles or light showers overnight, there won't be much to go on as the storm center really begins to get its act together down in the Arklatex. You can already see a large area of rain tonight moving its way across parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. That is the soaking that will be headed our way for tomorrow evening. So you can see tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. We do introduce more steadier rains across the area. Tomorrow's going to be a soggy day, but the rain that falls during the day tomorrow and even into the early afternoon will primarily be on the light side. Here's 6 o'clock. I want you to notice, though, after dark, how it really fills in. You see the blossoming of this yellow, even some orange. It will rain heavy at times tomorrow evening, right in the middle of your dinner plans, and then that rain will begin to wrap up during the early hours on Saturday. Right now, Saturday morning looks wet, but it will end on a gloomy and cooler note across the area. Area. So here's a look at your forecast as we go into your Sunday. Again, a little bit of sun by afternoon. Quickly, though, I do want to show you some of the estimated rainfall amounts, and the models have been consistent on a solid one to two inches across the area for tomorrow night. So Overnight tonight, holding steady where we are at about 36. And then tomorrow, rain heaviest at night. We'll climb into the low 50s. We'll be in the 40s all day. So the warmest part of your Friday will actually occur after dark, believe it or not. Same story with your Saturday. The warmest part of Saturday, Mike, will occur before the sun comes up because temperatures will be falling during the afternoon. There's your dry look at a Sunday there. And then it looks like maybe some showers or snow flurries Monday night into early Tuesday as it turns chilly for the beginning of next week. All right, Kevin, thanks for prepping.